Hey guys, welcome to day one Booktubeathon update slash day one challenge. It is 11.43 in the morning on Monday, July 14th. Um, I started reading at midnight and I read until about 12.45. Um, I read Fire and Flood or I started Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, which is a dystopian, I think. I don't know what it is. Action, adventure, whatever. It was awesome. I got maybe about 50, 60, 70 pages in before I called it a night. Woke up at 5.30 this morning and read for about 45 minutes to an hour and I got to half a third through the book before I got to work. I'm doing this book too with while I'm at work. Ah! Anyway, uh, I, knew, I knew it was going to be a slow week this week so that's why the, doing this is perfect. So as of 11.45, this is done. I finished Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. So yay, book one of the Booktubeathon. Done, done. Yeah, I'm so excited. Starting it off with this successfully. Like that's what I wanna do. And it's a small book. It's like 305 pages. So there's that. So I've read 305 pages so far. Then um, the second book that I'm starting is uh, Forbidden by Tapha Suzuma. This book is a little bigger. 400 ish pages and I'm about 30 pages in this right now and it's pretty awesome so I'm thinking I will probably get halfway to two-thirds of the way done with this before the night is over so I'm really excited about that but that is my update that's what's been going on so so far I've read maybe about 350 no 335 pages so far since the book Tubathon has started Mm, yay! So this setup, as you can see here, is not my normal setup. It's still in the exact same room that I normally film at. I usually film right over here. This is my TV area. I don't have bookshelves, as you guys know, but what I'm thinking about doing is this. You can't see it, but there are three shelves of this, three of these going down, and then there's three more on this side. And I'm thinking I might just stack books here and stack them up across here and down here something and just film here when there's decent lighting so let me know what you guys think of this setup in the comments down below but anyway let's get to this day one challenge I don't want to make this video super long so as you can see the books behind me the challenge is I'm supposed to show you guys my top three books that I've read because of YouTube they're all right here they're all right here so let's go ahead and just let me show you each one of them you know them all the first book of course you've heard me talk about it countless times I cannot shut up about this book it's my favorite book of all time it is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alire Sines it is a young adult contemporary novel and I love it it is to date my favorite 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 book and the only reason I was ever introduced to this book is because of YouTube so yay YouTube the second book that took me forever to read. It was practically shoved down my throat. Fangirl by Rainbow Ralph. It took me forever to read this book. I probably read it, what, a couple of months ago? You guys remember my late night book review because I was so overwhelmed by how amazing this book was. And so, yeah, I read it because of booktube because nobody would shut up about it. You guys wouldn't shut up about this book. So I finally got it, read it, loved it. Ah, this is probably my fav favorite Rainbow Ralph book to date. I haven't read Landline. I haven't read, um, like Landline, I haven't read Attachments, but those are adult books, I think, right? Right. Um, but yeah, I've read Eleanor Park, and while I love that book, I love this one better. So Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And then finally, Jesse the Reader is constantly talking about how much he loves this book. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I read this book as well as the graphic novel. Um, he just wouldn't shut up about it, as I've said already. And this book really is not something that I would normally read. It's not my thing at all, but it was so, so, so good. And I am so glad that I, you know, got out of my comfort zone and read this book because it was amazing. I haven't read Hollow City yet, but I will be doing that soon. It might be in my TBR for next month or the month after, but I will read it before the year is out. So, yay! These are my top three books that I have read because of booktube. So day one challenge of the booktube-a-thon completed. So 
That is all for this video. I want to make it short, sweet, and simple. Comment down below with your progress in the book Tubathon, how you guys are doing. Doesn't matter how many pages you've read or how many books you've read. Just celebrate your victories down in the comments below if you've read 10 pages, if you've read 100 pages, if you finished one book, two books, whatever. I want to know so I can celebrate with you. Also, if you're not going to do this video challenge, just comment down below letting me know what your top three books are that you've read because of YouTube as well. So, and let me know about the setup. So there's a lot of things I want you guys to discuss down below. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Off to read. Oh, I have discovered that Half Price Books is having a 40% off sale of one item today and tomorrow. So that's where I'm going right now. Yeah, so bye.